Hi, welcome back to South Coast Yachts in San Diego. I'm Barrett Canfield and we're here on the South Coast Yachts commissioning docks. We've got a bunch of big boats being commissioned, an Oceanus Yacht 54 right there, getting ready for delivery. And then on the other side, a Swift Trawler 50, we're delivering her next week. And a bunch of the boats that we've shot already, the GT40, GT36 over here. Uh, there are, are a couple of empty slips. And those are the boats, thanks to you all out there that, that uh, purchased the boats from us. Um, a Swift Trawler 41 we just delivered and also an Antares 11 that we just delivered that, that has been real popular on YouTube. Um, as we walk down the dock, just a quick stop to check out the new Flyer 8. This is a 25 foot runabout with a 300 Verado Merc on it. Uh, we got this for the team and got a cool wrap thanks to Beneteau uh, with our name on the side and we're using that as a volunteer boat uh, for the beer can races here. It's, so basically it's a safety boat. If you're in San Diego, you'll see that out there. But a really fun boat, big console with a head inside. So that's our fun toy for the summer for the team. And actually a couple of the guys were using it for taking their kids tubing yesterday. Uh, but the big reason we're here today is to take a look at the brand new, first time here in Southern California, uh, first time on the West Coast, GT32. So it, this is the entry into the Gran Turismo uh, range of boats by Beneteau. It's an express cruiser. You can see with the hard top, big sunroof, very wide cockpit. Uh, we're gonna walk through this boat and we're going to take her for a ride, do some maneuvering. She's got the joystick 350 Verado Merc, so we'll, we'll spin her around in circles out there. And this is the optional gray-blue hull. So it's a gray-blue gel coat hull. It's just gorgeous, you know, really, uh, you know, blue hulls just, just kind of squat the profile a little bit visually. And um, it's just a really pretty boat. Come on aboard and let's check her out. All right, stepping aboard out of respect for this owner's boat, I'm just gonna take off my shoes. This boat we're getting ready to deliver uh, in two weeks. So she's just about ready doing the final detailing and everything. But uh, one of the things you'll notice uh, as we get on this boat, like the Antares 11, the GT36, is we opted for the extended swim platform. So when the motors are down, you got a nice deep swim ladder right here. You're, you're out and you're getting in the water out beyond the props. If you don't have this, you'd have a ladder right here. And you're kind of getting in next to the motors and stuff like that. So that makes some people uncomfortable, but it's really nice to have them out off. You can jump off the stern there, way, way away from the motors or anything sharp, uh, so your kids can have a lot of fun and be safe. You can see the swim ladder just opens up and drops down right there. Um, this boat has some custom canvas that we did here. Uh, you can get uh, canvas enclosures from the factory also. Uh, but here in San Diego, we have Memo's custom canvas. And he made this um, beautiful uh, Macrolon uh, system here. Basically, you know, it's, it's a nice thicker um, stratoglass, basically, is what it's called. But you, you can roll it up. It's not so thick that you just have to lay it down. You can roll it up and lash it off there, or you can just take it all off and, um, and store it. We're going to take it off for our ride as we go out uh, for a little buzz so we can see how open it is and get the fresh air blown through the boat. But um, the other thing you like about, or I like about the stern is it's a great way to walk across a lot of outboard boats. You can't get to the other side. So there's a nice uh, non-skid walkway right here just to walk across. This boat has dual fuel tanks, one for each motor. So right here is the fuel fill, right there is a the fuel fill. When you're fueling the boat, you're not running the big fuel hose over through the cockpit or anything like that. It's just right here on the stern, a great place to service. BIB, that's, uh, that's French for life uh, raft. So that's where a life raft would go if you're doing some offshore uh, driving and stuff like that. And a lot of people ask us, how, you know, how capable is this boat offshore? Well, this boat is rated category B for eight people. Category B is, so this boat is built to withstand up to 40 knots of wind and up to 13 foot seas. So that's, that's some serious weather. I've only been in that type of weather a couple times in my life. And usually with the great electronics and, and a brain, you're not going out in that type of stuff. But it, it's nice to know it's built for that. So class B, CE rating, class B for offshore. So pretty impressive. Water fill is right there. You can see the name of the boat that we put on for the, uh, the owner of this one. And um, we're going to drop these motors in the water in a second. You'll see they're, they're Mercury Verado 350s. The 350s are supercharged inline six, 350 horsepower motors. You can also get 300 horsepower motors. Those Mercs are V8s. So the 300s are V8s. The 350s are supercharged inline six. The difference in price is about 8,000 bucks. So 8,000 more dollars for the 350s. Um, the difference in speed is about five to seven miles an hour faster with the 350. So this boat will really get up and go if you need it to. Top speed with the 350s is about 48, 49 miles an hour. And with the 300s is about 45. So you, know, you have to ask yourself when you're, when you're buying something like this, how often am I going to be going that fast or want to go that fast? People tend to want the biggest horsepower possible. So that's why we put the 350s on this one. But um, 300s are just fine. We've run a lot of boats with the 300s. The GT36 had, had 300s, ran great runs fast. 
The um, Antares 11 has 300s also, the Verado joystick 300s. And the joystick, of course, we played with that before. We're going to do that again. We'll bring her out and maneuver her. It just takes the edge off of docking, which is, which is just wonderful. So uh, we'll go, to, go inside and check out the cockpit. And uh, we're also going to remove the canvas real quick. So the next shot you'll see is canvas gone. So now you can see we, we've taken the canvas off. Uh, uh, it just basically unzips and rolls up uh, either in place or you lay it uh, somewhere else. We took it completely off for, the, for this uh, shot. But uh, one of the things you notice walking on this boat is how wide the cockpit is. The cockpit is. It's, a, it's an 11 foot beam on this boat and the cockpit uses just about every inch of that. You don't have side walkovers or walkthroughs to get to the bow on this boat. We'll show you that really cool feature. You basically walk forward through the port side of the boat. But it just enables Beneteau to give you a giant cockpit. I mean, really, you could probably have about six or eight friends around this cockpit table. Um, the cockpit table does drop down, um, and then you also have this cool backrest here that lifts up and drops down as a, as a big sun pad right here, so you can soak up rays back there. Um, but just, it's really amazing for a 32-foot boat. When you get aboard, you're like, oh my gosh, look at, it, look at this space. It's just a ton of space. So walking aboard, um, you see, we'll basically walk right into your wet bar and, and your... Uh, Kenyan grill right there and there's a fridge right there there's storage over here so a lot of the boats these days are, you know the, the manufacturers are being uh, very smart about uh, how they lay things out and Beneteau is looking very closely at how people are using their boats this is a great place to cook up some burgers or some dogs or something like that hot dogs and <laughs> um, you know have a couple of cold drinks right there for the family and friends and all that kind of stuff and then there's also a little mini galley down below with a microwave and another fridge so a lot of places to store food for cruising it's an ideal weekender spending a week on this thing over at Catalina or at Nantucket or something like that is, is perfect that's what she's built for so plenty of storage throughout the boat and a nice little wet bar and galley right here and kind of out of the way of everybody so you can serve your guests right here you can see how ergonomic all of the cushions are this is the standard upholstery package there is an elegance package that has a little more detail to the cushions and stuff like that but this is really comfortable stuff nice lounge facing aft right here a lot of seats facing forward so you know for anybody who gets a little queasy running a boat backwards great spots all throughout the boat to um, to face forward underneath the uh, cockpit here is a giant opening hatch uh, where there's just storage, there's, there's fuel tanks, and we'll open that in just a second. I should point out that the GT32 is also available in uh, stern drive inboard, stern, stern drive uh, motors. So you can get them with diesels, you can get them with uh, gas stern drives, or the Mercury outboards, 300s or 350s. This one's got the 350s. So by putting outboards on the stern, we've talked about this before a couple times, it just opens up all this area where motors would normally be on a boat for, for storage. We were talking about how beamy the, the cockpit is. It goes all the way out to the 11 feet of beam. Um, so we don't have walkovers on the side to get forward, hanging fenders and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what, what Beneteau designed into this boat, which is amazing, is a walk through on the port side of the boat. So come check this out. This is really cool. So nice non-skid all here, plenty of headroom. You guys remember that I'm six feet tall, so we got about 6'2 right there as you go forward. And then two little doors that open up. You got a, a little uh, kind of a wind blocker right there, door. And then this, this is really cool. Check this out. This just opens up. And you walk on forward. And it's got nice deep gunnels for safety. Really solid, thick um, uh, handrails there. And then probably room for three people, maybe four, to, to lounge out and kick back and, and ride safely forward, uh, enjoying, the, enjoying the ride from up here. So really safe. The, the, the driver can see them up here. Places to sit around on the bow all non-skid with your with your guests and you know while you're on the hook uh, out at some beautiful beach or some sandbar or something like that this is a spot i'd probably be <laughs> hanging out with a cold one right there i'm digging it oh speaking of cold ones look at that drink holder right there that was an american push we we've been asking them for drink holders every six inches um, that's a joke of course but there are plenty of them <laughs> throughout the boat and you can see there's an electric windlass up here um opens up like this it's got a nice uh, shock on it or Stabilizer there, and you got um, your electric windlass with a little remote right here. So you can sit up here and drop the hook. You can also drop the hook from the helm. So wherever you are, uh, easy to drop the, uh, drop the anchor. There's also enough room in here for, to put your fenders up here. This, one's, this boat's got the upgraded sound package, so you can see these really nice um, uh, speakers, very high powered. There's six speakers throughout the boat um, with also a, a, a bass uh, cannon type of um, speaker so really can crank this thing up and uh, play your favorite tunes while you're out there.
For me, it's probably going to be Bob Marley, Jimmy Buffett, Peter Tosh, my favorite stuff when I'm on a boat. Also, Eric Clapton, Unplugged. If you're ever out cruising somewhere, make sure you bring that, stream, stream that, because it's the best cruising music. That's just my little plug. But uh, great stereo to enjoy your tunes and stuff like that. So we'll close this up, and we'll probably head back in the uh, cockpit and check out the helm. Okay. So we're just going to walk aft and check out the helm. You can see how easy it is to get in the boat here, just two steps down into the salon. And one thing that's, uh, another thing I notice is some people say, well, how am I going to put fenders on the stern? There's cleats there, but also Beneteau put a little, uh, a little eye right there. So you can just lash a fender right there. What we would do for our customers is just create a quick uh, attach hook right there. And also very easy to grab that fender, pull it in, and, and, and stow it once you're underway. So big opening ports. We've talked about cross ventilation, um, uh, how important that is on these boats. And you can see the size of these opening ports. Big opening sunroof right here. So there's a button right over there. I'll show you how that works. But good cross ventilation, nice airy boat with that big door right there. The breeze flows through this cockpit, keeps everybody cool. And it's a hot day here in, in San Diego. So um, it's, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Walking across to the starboard side, you can see two uh, helm chairs with bolsters. 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 That's a tough one for me. Um, Facing forward, steering with a bunch of friends up forward is a very important part of, of modern boat design. Everybody wants to be up here riding along, seeing where they're going with the captain and crew and all that kind of stuff. So you have room for two right here, room for two on the port side. So, And these bolsters just come down nicely. But you can see how that works. Just sit right in here. You've got an adjustable wheel, leather wrap wheel. Some of you will look at the options package and you'll see the Sport Chic, C-H-I-C, Sport Chic package. That's the, uh, the chrome wheel with the leather wrap, the leather, leather wrapped handrails throughout the boat. So just a little ad addition of nice luxury throughout the boat, um, which is really nice. Uh, this boat also has the optional um, upgraded electronics package, with, which is the 16-inch Garmin display. So all sorts of cool um, stuff you can do, charts, uh, uh, sonar, radar, all that stuff here. We'll put the chart on right now. And you can see us right there at Sun Road Resort Marina in San Diego. Of course, of course, it's touch screen. There's the boat. You can see the couple of paths we've taken already testing this boat, getting it ready for, uh, for delivery for this family. But we're going to do that again today. So as far as the helm goes, very ergonomic. Nice uh, foot brace right there. Standing up. You can slide these seats back, slide the bolsters back if you a little bit. So standing up, it's got a ton of headroom. And this is probably almost seven feet right here. But great visibility big windshield, big one-piece windshield, so there's nothing in the middle of it that's, that's blocking your, vis your, uh, your vision. And then these big windows on the side with the opening, opening window on the side. So really nice uh, ergonomic setup. Throttles are right there. Joystick, which we're going to show you how that works in a second. We'll spin the boat around. So it's got the Mercury 350 Verado joystick um, option on the boat and also has the zip wake option. That's the automatic trim tab system. So that's been a really popular addition. We're putting it on all of our, our stock boats and all of the boats that people are ordering right now. So zip wake is an automatic trim tab system. It, it, it constantly keeps the boat trimmed as you're underway. You have 10 of your best friends over there and you're over here and the boat's leaning a little bit. The zip wake system will level the boat out and keep it nice and, and flat. It, that uh, definitely is a, a Cure for seasickness. Some people, when things are off a little bit, their you know, equilibrium's off a little bit, having a boat trimmed right and on level with the horizon is an important uh, feature. So we're going to fire her up in a little bit. Um, but before we do that, we want to go down below and see the interior of the boat. Of course, that's a, that's a ton of nice uh, living space. So on the GT32, you, when you go down below, you're going to see there's a nice salon table facing forward and then a big U-shaped dinette. And that table drops down to make another to basically make a stateroom. And then right under us here, a huge full beam master stateroom right here. So why don't we go down and check it out. So just three steps down into the salon here. And what you notice when you uh, get down here is a big U-shaped or V-shaped uh, settee. So probably would seat one, two, three, maybe five, six people comfortably there. And then also this table drops down to make another uh, double berth up here. So you have sleeping for two here and then sleeping for two in midships right there. Lots of storage above. You can see that there's um, opening cabinets there. There's a little port there for ventilation and also light 
reading lights, all sorts of opening um, storage areas around the back side of the, of the seats and also underneath the seats. So storage, storage, storage. <laughs> You'll see hanging lockers on that on the uh, starboard side and over here, another big hanging locker for uh, foul weather gear or whatever you want. Um, this is a really cool little feature. It looks like a long, tall door, but what it is, it's a curtain that comes right across to give the people who are up here privacy while you're sleeping aboard. So that's really cool. I thought that was neat. And then as I mentioned up top, the, you, know, you have that wet bar and galley in the cockpit, which you'll be using a lot while cruising. But behind the door here, you have a microwave and you've got another fridge right here. So plenty of um, ability to keep stuff cold or frozen while you're cruising over to the island for the weekend. You can see more storage right there. And then also, as you can see in, in the sole of the boat, uh, right below the sole, it, uh, the big spot right here is your holding tank. And then up here is, is um, AC pumps and stuff like that. All uh, There's a bilge pump right there, all uh, labeled by South Coast Yachts. This one is waste discharge and bilge pump right there. So you'll see on the starboard side of the boat is the head. So a completely separate toilet area uh, and, and shower area. A big full-length mirror right there for dressing. And just for a little size comparison, at six feet tall and 240 pounds, a little bit on the wide side, uh, I, I fit right in here just fine. It's, it's a nice size uh, shower area, not claustrophobic at all. There's sit-down showering, and there's also a nice door right here that closes off if you if you want to, um, you know, not spray the water out into the uh, into the rest of the the head system. So I really like this way it's, it's laid out and separate. And then on the um, Toilet side, this is the electric toilet uh, option, electric quiet flush toilet. You can have a standard manual toilet if you want uh, that's, that's standard from the factory. Nice ventilation in here, curtains that draw across so you can have privacy, nice big sink, and uh, really comfortable. So walking aft in the salon, of course, you have more, more sleeping area. There's a full beam stateroom right under the cockpit. It goes from side to side there, and it's huge. You can probably sleep two very comfortably, probably three kids if you wanted. Um, lots of uh, natural light, uh, reading lights, storage under there. So really the ability to have a, a family of four comfortably uh, over at the island for a weekend. All right. Well, jumping back up into the cockpit here at the helm station, one of my favorite parts about doing our videos is taking the boat for a ride and showing you all how well they handle and, uh, and turn and, and uh, we're going to have some fun. But first thing I'm going to do is show you the helm a little bit and a couple of the, the features of the helm. Um, so I'm going to slide up here in the Captain seat and show you a couple things. You have uh, right here on the uh, left side, you have the bow thruster control. You've got a VHF right below it, w a windshield wiper uh, controls right there. And of course your 16 inch uh, Garmin chart plotter radar, zip, lake, zip wake like we talked about before. These are the mercury controls. So that's all the engine information right, right um, above the joystick right there. And you can see um, that our team at South Coast Shots has already um, put on the dashboard how much fuel you have. So 206 gallon tank, so 212 gallons of fuel, talking about efficiency, at uh, looking at the numbers on this boat as tested with these motors at 33 miles an hour, the boat burns about 1.2 miles per gallon. So, or goes about 1.2 miles per gallon. So um, that gives you with 212 gallons of, of fuel about a range of, at 30, 33 miles an hour, a range of 250 miles on the boat. So that's pretty far. Uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of fuel. With, if you do get the inboard versions, the fuel, fuel tanks are just slightly smaller. They're at 196 gallons compared to 212. Still plenty of fuel on either motor uh, choices to get you a nice long distance uh, to your favorite spot. So uh, looking across the dashboard, we talked about earlier the Garmin 16-inch uh, touchscreen display, radar, chart plotter, all that great information, engine information, all that. Over on the right side here, you have the Mercury controls, which give you all the information about the Mercs. Um, joystick is right below it. Going across uh, the bottom here, you can see it's pretty self-explanatory. The lightning bolt is all of your electronics. So, And then you have your running lights, you have your bilge pumps throughout the boat, you have your fresh water, uh, you have your lights inside. This is an extra one. Um, then this boat has underwater lights right there, so that's that. You have your anchor windlass right there, so you can adjust, uh, drop the hook from here. And then lights throughout the cockpit right there, so all pretty self-explanatory. Over here we got the horn, and um, of course your, your uh, mercury controls, a beautiful uh, wheel. Your keys go right over here, we'll, we're going to fire it up in just a minute, and uh, take her for a ride. We'll use the joystick, we'll spin her around and show you how easy this boat is to, to maneuver. 
Uh, these joystick systems, uh, uh, the joystick is also available in the, uh, in the uh, stern drive uh, version of the boat, so it really takes the edge off of docking. It's, it's, a, it's a very smart investment when you're buying the boat. Um, oh, speaking of buying the boat, a lot of people ask how much the boat costs. That's an important question. Um, so as a base boat with these 350s, base boat, the, this boat is $260,000. But adding all the options this one has, this one's loaded up. This one came to about three ninety-five. So as we walk through the boat, everything you see, generator, air conditioning, big, the bigger engines, all the um, upgraded electronics, upgraded sound package, all that kind of stuff about $395,000 delivered West Coast uh, United States here in San Diego. We paid just a little bit more for freight than the East Coast. So um, still a heck of a boat for the money. It's, uh, it's pretty remarkable what you get. And that's, that's Beneteau's uh, value offer. It, it always has been. Best boat for the money on the market. So what do you say we fire up and go for a ride? Sound good? Let's do it. Cool, I'm going to fire him up. All right, let's do it. So bow thrusters on. I'm just going to straighten it out just a little bit in the, uh, there we go, in the slip here. We're going to use a joystick to drive her out. And the one thing about the joystick that we teach everybody is whatever you do with your hand, the boat does. So just remember that. I like to rest my hand on the side right here and just use my two fingers. So we're going to go forward. The other thing about the joystick is it's also a, um, a throttle. So the harder you push it in whatever direction you're pushing it, the more RPMs it throws into that maneuver. So you can maneuver it fast or you can maneuver it nice and easy. And so then you just have to kind of practice using a fine touch on, on, on the thruster. So we're just straightening around a little breeze from the port side. And here we go. Nice and easy going forward. Right out of the slip. We're just going to go out here and do a little spin. You can see my hand there just going forward. Now, we're, since we're forward already, I'm just going to stop it there. Underway, and I'm going to stop the boat. And the best way to stop a boat is by looking sideways. I'm going to put it in reverse right now. We've cleared the dock. I'm looking sideways to see if I've stopped. And right there, I've, I've completely stopped. That's when you want to do your maneuver. So we're going to do a counterclockwise spin right here. Simple as that. I've got about half the uh, effort into the into the uh, joystick right there, twisting it counterclockwise. I'm just spinning right around here in this basin. I would say we probably have about 50 feet between the dock. So, um, you know, on a 32-foot boat, we've got enough room to maneuver. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right on the, pretty much on this point, on the center point of the boat, the boat's just spinning by doing one thing. You could accentuate it by, uh, by adding a little thruster to it. I'm doing a complete 360 and then I'm going to put it right back in the slip. So what, what this does is wherever you're going, a yacht club, a dock and dine, pulling up to, uh, to pick up some friends at their house or something like that, you can line up this boat and just lay it right up on the dock for them perfectly without scratching anything. No worries. I'm going to stop the spin right here. The breeze brought us down a little bit. I'm going to slide go sideways just a bit. nice and lined up for the slip right now, so we're going to go in. The other thing that I, I like to use the um, bow thruster for is when you're maneuvering into a slip, you can, and you're going in reverse, you can use the bow thruster to steer the boat. So right now I'm just going to line it up right now, right into the slip. You can see us going right in, those engines working perfectly for us, just like we want. And then thrust her over a little bit, steers it right in. And we're home. All right, I think we should go out farther and go faster and have more fun. Is that okay? Let's do that. So not a super sunny day here in San Diego, but I'm gonna open up the sunroof a little more to get a little more natural light and air flowing through the uh, cockpit. So buttons right up here to my right. And that just opens up like that. Allows even more sun in for your guests. 
So just perfect for a cruise around the bay. We're going to be kind to this sailboat because I am a sailor and I know little sailboats, powerboat wakes, they don't like each other. So I'm going to wait just a second till we'll pass this guy and then we'll, we'll lift it up, we'll run out the bay. We've got about, I'm going to say, um, the sailor in me tells me it's about seven to eight knots of breeze today, just a little bumpy on the bay. So we'll get a chance to dig that air step hull in. That's something I didn't mention earlier, is the air step hull on the boat. Um, basically the air step is a patented hull designed by Beneteau and um, what, the, what you notice is the boat uh, handles like it's on rails. You can make really sharp turns on these things and they just carve like they're on rails. So it's a, basically a, an air induction system that where it funnels air down from the bow of the boat to a, to a fan type uh, or shaped um, section of the hull, creating an air lift uh, and, and a cushion. So handles really beautifully, gets up on a plane fast. And also very forward on these boats, you will see that it's a very deep V. So in rough weather, they really slice through the water nicely. And, and it's a very, it's, it, the boat won't pound. It's a nice, solid riding boat in, in rough seas. Okay, now that we're past these little sailboats, we're gonna lift it up on a plane and get her going. And I've got the GPS set up so we can see how fast we're going. The zip wake is on, which is the auto trim system. So uh, ready to roll, here we go.